three of the best dumbbell exercises for golfers. Today we are going to work through three of the best exercises that any golfer can do. With a dumbbell. We're going to help you build stability, power and consistency in your ball striking because you're going to improve your posture, your core activation and how you create speed and force. These will directly help your golf swing and get you feeling better overall and we're going to give you sets and reps at the end so you can get a full dumbbell golf workout whenever you're ready. Getting straight to work, we have the split stance rotational chop. So, lots of balance in the lower body. We place both hands on either end of the dumbbell. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take the dumbbell out to the side, building on that lower body stability and the hip rotation. And from here, we're gonna use our core and the upper body to create rotational and vertical force up and over that lead leg. So you really have to engage the core, maintain a neutral spine position, and through that rotation, you're creating speed, through that balance and improving how you create force. So if I change angle here, you can see that as we get into that position, we're in a unilateral stability. Simply, the lower body is doing different things, which it does in your golf swing. You transfer weight in the way back and then onto the front leg on the way through. That's how we create force. So here, we're priming our lower body to stay stable, no matter how much effort you're putting in with the upper body. So, looking at this angle, we set the spine angle, we let the weight go down to the side, really rotate as far as you can in this direction, whilst keeping the glutes engaged, keeping your spine neutral. We then fire through the core, up and around, and try and rotate the dumbbell as well. You can see the challenge there, because I nearly fell over. But we're just working through that pattern. And you think about the motion of the golf swing. As we work, we fire the hips and then the upper body is really working around the spine, turning the rib cage and creating vertical and rotational forces. That's what we're working on here. Movement number two, we're staying in that same stance, but we're looking much more at vertical force and strength and power in the upper body. So the core this time is gonna stay super stable. We don't wanna be moving around too much. We wanna keep balanced and working against the ground even in this split stance. And we're gonna to go to the rotate, sorry, the single arm clean and press. From here, we're looking at creating that force through the upper body, not just the bicep. We're trying to create that vertical extension which really does help you swing if you can use it correctly. And then we use the turnover of the dumbbell to then go overhead. So this is all about upper body power, grip strength, huge, huge factors if you wanna play a good golf. So sit yourself up, core engages against the lower body, use the other arm for balance, nice and fast in your turnover. So we pull and shrug, press through. So you're gonna use a dumbbell that is challenging, but allows you to keep full range of motion and excellent form throughout, as well as that speed. If you go too heavy, we're gonna be moving around and we're not gonna to get to a full range of motion as needed. If you go too light, you're not gonna get the challenge. Okay, so again, stabilize, work against the ground. We go fast, through. Control down, fast and through. That's always a big factor is making sure that the concentric side, when you're pushing, when you're working on the movement, is fast. The eccentric side to be under control, to build muscle, to build joint integrity, and improve your movement patterns overall. The final movement, we're gonna to get to the feet. We're working on our sequencing and our overall rotational speed. It's the rotational swing. So you can hold the dumbbell around one of the heads. From here, take up your golf posture. We're gonna work both sides as we are all the way through and we're gonna to go to that rotational swing. So we load up just like you do in the backswing. Obviously we're not going as far, but we want to rotate the hip and push that foot into the ground. You're then gonna change direction, using the ground first, opening the hips and then really adding the speed. So don't just feel as though you're standing there and trying to pull the dumbbell. You really are using the sequence of the whole body, which is why this is so beneficial for your golf swing. We get set, we load, rotate. Load, rotate. Really be aggressive. Get that speed working across the system. And the footwork is huge, okay? Just like it is in your swing, if we don't load and accept the force through the hips and then fire the glutes, 
What you're gonna find is this hip shift, that sway, is terrible in your swing, is terrible in this movement, because then the joints are not working the way that they should do, they don't accept force, you're in a much more vulnerable position. Okay, so I'll show you down the line. This is into the left-handed swing, so this isn't the dominant swing side. We take that same posture, we load back, fire the hips, up and through. So again, just like your swing, all of the energy is coming through the ground and through the whole body. There's very little tension going through the arms. We transfer energy all the way through the system to the extremities, and that is why using a dumbbell in this pattern is gonna be huge for stability, for speed, and for the consistency of your swing. Staying in good positions, creating force, and delivering great results. Those are our three dumbbell golf movements today. And when you execute them well, they're gonna be hugely beneficial for your golf swing. Question number one is what weight to use. We already touched on it in the coaching, but essentially you want to use the heaviest weight you can whilst keeping excellent form and high levels of speed. So it's gonna be that mid-range weight where we really can accelerate through the movement, stay in great control, and know that we are benefiting our swing, okay? Again, too heavy is gonna get too restricted and too slow. Too light, you're not gonna get the engagement and the activation through the muscles to really see the benefits, okay? So find that suitable weight. And then the other question is how this helps my swing. Well, think about all of those movements we just worked through. We did the split stance for the first two movements because as we go through the swing, we've got different pressures through the ground, meaning that we're almost always in an asymmetrical pattern with the lower body. We start pretty neutral, we're then gonna load that trail foot and then back to the lead leg. So the more each leg can stabilize on its own, that's your asymmetry, the more balanced your swing's gonna be, the more consistent you can be with your posture, it means you deliver the club head more consistently and improve your ball striking. And then in terms of rotation and speed, each movement was working through the rib cage, around the spine, and really building on that sequencing. These are all the foundational elements you need for your swing. And when you do them with weight, you are not only strengthening the system, improving how your muscles function and create force, but you're also building your own awareness. Because once you have that heavy weight, you can feel the movement, you can develop those patterns, you get that mind-body connection, and the swing gets easier and easier. These are three of the best dumbbell movements for your game. We've got sets and reps in the caption below. Make sure you save those and try this out for yourself. We'd love to see you get it done. And when you're ready for more of the best workouts in golf, head over, get a seven day free trial to the Golf Watt app now, and become the strongest version of yourself on and off the course. Outside of that, make sure you subscribe to the channel, tell your friends, and get ready for the season so we can all golf strong.